Kim, what is our fourth main topic today? All right. So Nicholas says, despite the upcoming release of Spider-Man No Way Home breaking pre-ticket sales, there's been a recent report by The Hollywood Reporter that No Way Home may not get a China release after all. Do you think that might prevent No Way Home from reaching the billion dollar mark or can it still succeed without China's help? All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in, Nicholas. And yeah, look, one of the big questions, not just surrounding Spider-Man, but that has been surrounding a lot of the movies lately has been... Will X movie get a China release? Mm. China is, forget everything else, China is the second biggest movie market in the world. I mean, in just pure population, it's the biggest movie market in the world, but in terms of moviegoers, it's the second biggest movie market in the world. You cannot become one of the highest grossing films of all time without having a China release. You just can't. There's not enough. There's just not enough to go around. And so that's one of the reasons why like a film like Shang-Chi, while it did really good domestically and while it's done really good in a lot of the markets that it played, it never got a China release. Yeah. And that is 300, 400 million dollars left on the table, potentially, mm -hmm. maybe more mm -hmm. left on the table. Now, it's not that there haven't been any films this year that haven't that haven't gone to China. Some have. Most of them have been smaller independent films, but a lot has. But it's starting to look like Spider-Man is, is going to be the latest one that is probably not going to get a China release. This comes just from the folks over at The Hollywood Reporter who write the following. With diplomatic tensions between Beijing and Washington at, and Washington at an adir, Hollywood's China business lines are hitting fresh lows. Uh, U.S. film imports are now at their lowest levels in a generation, and various major studio features, including popular superhero titles Spider-Man No Way Home and Venom Let There Be Carnage from Marvel, Sony, still have no release dates. Their chances of getting the green light are becoming slimmer by the day, as the year winds down, analysts say. And just to make it even worse, just to make this situation even worse, they are saying that, of course, uh, you know, that they're looking at the American Olympic team is looking at possibly boycotting the upcoming oh, Winter yeah. Olympics. That's only going to make things more tense oh. yeah. and yeah. probably less. There are roughly half of the amount of American films have been able to release in China compared to like 2019. Mm. Half this year. And it's only getting smaller. Now, the question becomes... What becomes the upper ceiling limit of how big can Spider-Man No Way Home be? Now, this is going to be the same question for other films as well. Sure. But right now, the movie in front of us is Spider-Man No Way Home. And if Spider-Man No Way Home isn't going to be able to screen in China, well, I'm going to tell you right now, my, my one-time prediction that this movie can hit 1.5 billion, oh no, forget it. No chance. No chance. This movie cannot hit 1.5 billion without China. My and and for those you know, I've heard some people saying it can still make a billion dollars just domestically. Little trivia for you: Do you know how many? And you can count it on one hand, but do you know how many movies in history have made a billion dollars domestically? Either of you guys want to venture a guess? How many movies have made a billion dollars domestically? Two. So Kim's going to say two, Ray? One. All right. The answer was, it's a little bit of a trick, trick question. My one hand is going to hold up no fingers. None. Zero. Some guys in the live chat got it. Zero. No films have ever made a billion dollars domestically. The number one domestic film of all time is Star Wars The Force Awakens. As far as I know. But it's, uh, whatever. They didn't make a billion dollars. <laughs> it didn't make a billion dollars. So I don't know, especially in a pandemic era, that Spider-Man's going to do anywhere near a billion dollars domestically. But hey, it could still do huge business, billion plus, with China. But with China off the board, you instantly take whatever your guess was and minus three, four, five hundred million dollars off its potential tally. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. And while a lot of people who are always experts about other people's money mm -hmm. think, well, we shouldn't care if it plays in China. Well, only people who have no vested interest in it would maybe try say to be that. An investor and yeah, you like try that. to be an investor and me? saying it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean it's it's not your money, so it's easy for you to say what other people should do with their money. But the, the reality is this: this is going to hurt. 
It's going to hurt it a lot. Now, is Spider-Man still going to be successful? 100%. Oh, 100% yeah. it's still going to be successful. I have no doubt about that. It's still going to make its money. But here's the thing. For the last number of years, studios have not just relied on these movies like Spider-Man to make enormous box office just so that movie could make a ton of money. Mm -hmm. It is that excess of money that these movies make that finance the smaller movies that get made. That have finance the smaller independent, not independent, but the smaller budgeted, the mid-level budget, the smaller budget. You know, Paramount, Warner Brothers, number of studios have their own independent arms as well. And where do you think the money for those to get made comes from? It comes from the bigger successes. So yeah, it's one thing to say, it is a myopic and short-sighted statement to say, well, who cares how much Spider-Man makes as long as it makes its money back? That is a short-sighted point of view. It's the money. It's what happens with the money that movies like Spider-Man make and what do they go on to finance later. And this could be a big deal for a movie like Spider-Man No Way Home. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, the good folks over at Raycon. Again, once again, you know what I did before the show. I was on the treadmill going over my notes in here in the house. Last minute note changes before the show. Pop in my Raycons. They are perfect for how I use them. That, my late night walks, all that kind of stuff. I got these things after I lost one of my other earbuds, one of the earbuds to my pair of one of the higher profile earbud bands. Took these things out of the case, popped them in. They instantly paired. They're comfortable. They got a built-in mic so I can make calls on them. They sound really quite good. And on top of all that, compared to the other major earbud brands, they're about half the price of them, which is one of the reasons why I think they're going to make great stocking stuffers. Speaking of which, as stocking stuffers, the holidays are coming up faster than you guys think, and now is the time to knock that gift list out and avoid last-minute shopping scram scrambles, especially for our viewers and listeners. You guys will get 15% off if right now you go over to buyraycon.com slash campia. Once again, that's buyraycon.com dot com slash campia pick up your set of raycons and here's the best news you guys who are viewers of the show get 15 percent off so once again head on over to buy raycon.com slash campia and once again we thank raycon for sponsoring this video now look in a total pragmatic world how much does it affect me if spider-man plays in beijing none it ain't going to affect my screening Thursday night at the Chinese theater. Well, Unless we made a no worldwide pun bet. No, no pun intended. At the Chinese theater in Hollywood on Thursday night. I'm still going to go and it's still <laughs> going to play for me. It doesn't affect me one bit. But, yeah, business-wise, industry-wise, this is serious. And Spider-Man's not going to be the last movie that gets hit with this. Now, it should be important to note right now that it is not official it's not official that Spider-Man is not getting a Chinese release. That's that's not. There's still a crack of possibility that it could get it. But again, going back to that comment and that statement right near the end, their chances of getting the green light are becoming slimmer by the day as the year winds down, analysts say. So the longer we go without it getting a release date, the less and less of a chance it's going to have to get it. So let me throw it over to you guys. Ray and Kim. Let's pull out the, let's just, let's start with a billion. Prior, you know, a week or two ago, Spider-Man No Way Home joining the Billion Dollar Club was an automatic. Is it still an automatic? Ray, what do you think? Is, is Spider-Man, without playing in China, is it still an automatic that Spider-Man No Way Home gets to a billion? No. no. Ray's, Ray's no. going to say no, no. No, no, I just don't think it could without, you know, being played um in china what about you kim do you think it's an automatic oh gosh it's not gonna it's not gonna do it it's not gonna do it homecoming brought in i think in china homecoming brought in 70 million from china and far from home brought in 90. take that off the table are you kidding me i'm so that's so disappointing i'll tell you I'm what i'm so bummed i i i, still, I mean it's gonna do great here i just you it's know. gonna do great here Here's, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it is possible. I I, I think it can really? still hit a billion. 
Because really? remember, wow. there's a lot of other international markets, right? Sure. So none of which come anywhere close to China. Yeah. But there are still a lot of other international markets. What has been, let me pull this information up here quick as I go over to Box Office Mojo. I'm just trying to find out. You know what, John? What has been the number one box I office? I take it back. Movie? Yeah, it I'm, back? I'm with you now because I remember when Endgame was coming out, right? And that was a huge movie at the time. And yeah. China was all in on that. And Endgame didn't make a billion. So. Uh, I mean, even with China. So I don't, yeah, I think it has a chance of uh, it, making it. It has a chance, but without here, China. Here's the thing. So the number one domestic movie this year so far, mm -hmm. the number one movie domestically this year is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Domestically, it made $224 million. Spider-Man No Way Home is going to have to triple that. Like triple that in order to have a chance at getting a billion worldwide. Because I think worldwide, there, I mean, a lot of other countries are, gonna, are are having a rougher time than we are here right now. But I think domestically, you're looking at Spider-Man No Way Home needing to make in the neighborhood of $700 million domestically. It just needs to be good then. It will need to be good. For people who want to rewatch it over and over. Over and over. Hey, but more than that, don't forget, we had that report that we talked about a few weeks ago from Variety saying as of right now, about 49% of regular moviegoers prior to the pandemic still haven't started going back to the movie theaters yet. So not only does it have to get a lot of people going back for repeat business. It's got to get a lot of people who haven't gone back to the movies yep. yet to come out of the houses and go, which I think this movie will do. The buzz. The, yeah, it's the buzz got to be there. The so. And whatever it does, again, I would love to see some form of calculation and projection of had the world not gone through what we're going through right now, how it would do. You yeah. Know? Without the pandemic, without people, because think about it. When was the last time we were really afraid to go to a movie theater and be able to go home and go, am I going to get my grandma sick? Am I going to put someone in the hospital because I went to a movie theater? Like, just that that issue in our world right now, like, I feel for all of these films that yeah, are now, suffering. I should point out, in talking about a billion, there was a film not too long ago that did not play in China, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but did not play in China and did hit a billion dollars, and that was Joker. I believe Joker didn't get a Chinese release and mm. it made a billion dollars worldwide. Then you got a pro and con. Spider-Man is bigger than Joker. Joker didn't have a pandemic era it was dealing with. So, I, I mean, so I don't know, but I just want to point out that there has been, not many, but there has been movies that have made a billion without playing in China. I think Joker also reached a different audience. Too. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like uh, it, the scope of it in terms of uh, the type of people that... to. That wanted to watch it went beyond comic book absolutely and that's what it had for it too so mm -hmm. you know if this is if if spider-man can't do that like then i i don't know it might not reach a billion so but but i'll but i'll tell you so i think a billion is is a possibility mm -hmm. but i honestly i think that 1.5 is off the board Sadly, but I think 1.5 is off the board. I, I don't. So, and there was some, I remember there were some people on our live chat going, I'm telling you, John, it's going to make $3 billion. Like, Aww. really? You think it's going to make more than Engin? <laughs> oh, okay. Guys. God no, bless. Not. <laughs> also, I would like to apologize. I think I did my first YouTube flip flop on this topic. I just went from <laughs> it will make a billion to it won't. It will and it won't. So, flip flopper. But I caught myself. Hey. Hey, hey, but you did so. You did so taking into consideration a new set of information. Right, right. You, that's what intelligent people do. Intelligent people change their minds when new information is given Based to them. Based on information. So, yeah. but, but yeah. So, but honestly, I, I think. Two billion is forget two billion. No. People, a lot of people were talking that two billion was a possibility. I think I even thought it. I didn't think it was get to two billion, but I thought two billion was possible. Forget that. I don't even think 1.5 is possible now. And can we just talk about how disappointing it is for the people? Because oh, I'm thinking I mean, about our film like we're talking numbers and, and, and that's mm. so important. But for people who have who are in China, who have loved Spider-Man, who used to read the comics years and years ago and have seen Sam Raimi's version and see and their excitement and their hope. Can you imagine being a fan? And finding out that your country will not let you see it. Yeah, and this isn't the first one. But yeah, for our I mean, no, it's not the first one. There, I know but... it's not the first one, but just this particular movie. I'm thinking about my excitement, and I'm thinking about yeah. how someone across the world is not going to be able to experience that. Yeah, and we'll see. Anyway, happy. the question is for you guys: What do you think about this? With it looking like that China is not going to play Spider-Man No Way Home. 
How do you think that's going to affect ultimately how this movie does overall? And how this movie does overall is going to have a trickle-down effect on other smaller movies that could or may now not ever get made or financed. How big do you think the ceiling is now? Maybe you thought $2 billion was within reach. Do you still think it is? Am I right or am I wrong? Do you think I'm right or wrong about the whole idea that I don't think $1.5 billion is a possibility now? I hope I'm wrong. I would love to see this thing make all the money in the world. Whatever you guys think, jump on down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.